So, in this video, I just wanted to talk about what happened when I did my recent evocation. Now, when I did my recent evocation of Lucifuge, it was, to say the least, very, very rewarding, um, forthcoming, if that makes sense. In the sense that he had manifested himself to me in two different forms. In forms in which they were, in fact, beholdable. He even answered to one of my calls in which I told him to, um, to manifest further through my smoke, in which he did. He did just that. Uh, what led me to communicating and talking to Lucifuge was the fact that I was now done with my pact that I had made with Bune, okay? And that um, the things that I wanted, they, they were, in fact, fully fulfilled. So I decided that I would go to Lucifuge because I wanted to learn from him. I wanted to uh, know, you know, what he, what he could teach. I wanted to learn his ways of magic. I also, you know, wanted to experience the flood of excess and, and the flow continuously of abundance. And... He he presented himself. Um, he agreed to my terms. He he spoke with me with a very deep voice that kind of kept breaking. He would say, "Present your pact." So I present it. No, no, not there. Change this. So I would change things. You know, I was going back and forth and trying to determine whether or not I was actually fully in communication with him because this is the real battle of when it comes to doing things like this. It's, it's your own mind, your ego. You're fighting against yourself to understand whether or not you're truly in communication, okay? Even though I wasn't um, doubting the entire process, I was just trying to make sure that I was, in fact, fully in communication with him. So I started asking him for, him for Hebrew numbers. Now, these numbers, this is a method that I learned. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a method I learned from Aureli Stewart. Now, Aureli Stewart is fucking awesome when it comes to um, getting confirmation from spirits. And this is one of her methods that I learned. Issuing the spirit a task of giving you a number in which pertains to the information that you are receiving from that spirit in which you can in fact confirm whether or not this spirit is telling you the truth or telling you a lie through reading the meaning of this number now you are to make cards of these numbers so you don't have to go and find the website or you don't have to go and find things that are you know unnecessary in which would take so much more time than needed when you could just have your cards made now, I asked him for some numbers in which the things that he was saying and telling me would correspond to, and he picked the number one. He also picked the number seven, and he even went as far as to tell me about the number two, okay? So, when I looked these things up, they did directly relate to exactly what he was telling me. So it, it made me feel more comfortable in the matter of speaking with him. He had then presented to me a symbol that I could use um, if I drew it in my blood to keep spirits from tricking me. Because there are spirits who come forward and try to trick individuals into um, draining them for their energy or wreaking havoc on them just for attachment to take over their body to possess them there's a lot of things that happen uh when people who don't know what they're doing do these kind of rituals so he presented me with this symbol i drew it on my paper and the second that i put my blood onto this paper and drew this symbol there was an immediate shift in energy the energy was no longer as heavy and my paper in fact started to flash now, I didn't have the sigil of the spirit on my paper. I had it in the summoning triangle that was before me, outside of my circle. And 
that also you know started to kind of flash a little i moved further into what they refer to as the rapture in which you're going into you know gnosis to receive this hidden knowledge from this spirit he manifested in a form of a red serpent and he once i continued talking to him a little further and we got deeper into a discussion about what i was going to be wanting in my pact and when he agreed to those things he showed himself in his true form to me with three horns and a very long face with a glowing orb in the middle of his head and it was a manifestation not through the smoke but through the fire of my candle through the flame directly above it there was an astral shape that started taking form directly in front of me now I knew that this was a a real manifestation of him because of the fact that once I was done with the ritual I had told him to come back from whence he came. After I did that, the flame went com right back to exactly what it looked like before, just a flame. There was no extension of energy coming off of it, nothing that was arising, nothing that was filling up with smoke and light. Okay, So it was impressive to me, these results that I was getting. Um, I had drawn his signature at the bottom, which looked really cool. I wish I could show it to you, but you're not getting that signature unless you have the Compendium of Lucifuge or you are, you know, making a pact and getting assisted pact making with me if you are in fact wanting to work with Lucifuge. So once I was, once everything was all said and done, before I had told him to, to go back and, you know, did the dismissal of the spirit, he told me to, you know, write my initials in blood, in which I did. And then he told me to trace you know, one mark of blood over his signature. So I did just that. Then the paper started to glow a weird... Um, A weird spectrum of a rainbow, if that makes sense, but it was black. So it was black, and this, this, this letter was a sideways in, a sideways cursive in with a loop that started flashing. Black at first, then it started flashing every color of the rainbow. Um, it was at that moment that I knew that he, in fact, did accept those terms, and I was, in fact fully in communication with him at this time and that the pack was to be fulfilled i you know finished everything went to sleep went to sleep felt really good i felt an immediate change and shift in my energy once i told him to leave his energy was so heavy on me it had me being pulled so deep into into trance when he was around because he's he's a very hypnotic uh energy then once i went to bed and i dismissed him it, the energy shifted almost as if the weight that was on my shoulders even before this was taken away he took away um, the energy of just the feelings of my doubt in my situation. He took away the feelings of my, you know, my depression because of where I was at that time um, and how I was feeling on that day because I was having a shitty day before I had went through with doing this. And the next day, I was excited. Things were happening. I even got, you know, a I even got a, a new booking, which was awesome. And it it, it further led me to you know, understand that this was him bringing these things forward. So I was really happy with that, and I'm really happy with the results. It also made me feel so fucking clear, so excited, 
and it's only been two days. I've been feeling extremely excited, extremely happy. There's been a shift in my energy that I definitely have been able to notice. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to be telling you more about what's going on um, as the pact progresses. What comes to fruition, what moves, what happens moving forward. But I'm going to give you guys a little gift. I'm going to be doing another evocation of him, but I'm going to do it live. I won't put any music. I'm just going to let the complete audio play so that you can watch me and watch this entire ritual unfold and play out and you can see you know what it's like stay righteous guys <laughs> 